What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another movie Sunday reaction. This time we are doing one that I've been eagerly anticipating, but also eagerly avoiding, if that makes sense. We are doing a silent voice. Now, what it has to do with, I have no idea. I'm going into this completely blind. I know there is a deaf girl only because people have told me that the dub uh, features a deaf actress or a voice actress. So it adds some like realism to the, to the movie itself. Um, obviously I've been told I'm going to cry. As you guys can see, I'm watching this live with chat. So if you guys want to come over there, come over here and enjoy these moments. Watch me turn into an emotional wreck. Watch me get super hyped during these movie reactions, the one piece reactions, everything else come over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Don't forget to come to the Patreon as well for early access and full length up to four episodes to all the shows that we are doing. I am very nervous, but excited to get into this. I say we hop right on into this. A Silent Voice came out in 2016. Let's do this. Oh no. I am very glad that firework happened. My man is suicidal within the first 30 seconds of the movie. Final day. So far, the animation is, is very, very good. I love it so far. Very detailed. Is she the deaf character? Nice to meet you. My name is Shoko Nishimiya. Shoko, I would like to get every to know everyone through this notebook. When you want to talk to me, please use this notebook. I bet you they're a little confused. I can't hear. I can't lie. This movie is probably going to hit me a little harder after I'm watching um, Ranking of Kings. Like, Boji really changed my perspective. It really did. Oh, that's fucked up. That is very asshole-ish right there, Ishida. Not cool, my man. Not cool off rips, can't lie. I wonder what Ishida and Nishimiya's home life is like. Heck yeah. I would hope so, but I don't know. And I can't put my, it's, it's hard to put yourself in these kids' perspectives because, you know, you're so much more immature and so much less educated as a child, you know? I really can't say what I would do in a situation. I would hope a young me would try to be super inclusive and, I mean, look at that, you know? So it seems weird because... He should have feels like our main character, but so far he's he's an asshole. No, if this if he throws it out the window, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know about I don't know if I can watch this movie, guys. I'm gonna get pissed. I'm gonna get pissed more than sad. <laughs> Look at this. It's like. There was a couple of things I thought this movie could be, but bullying, uh, oh, no one's going to call, no one's going to call Ishii out in the middle of the class. You're going to seem like a snitch or a tattletale, you know, is he actually thinking about turning himself in? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a good mom, I'm assuming. I have to assume mom, but it's a good mom. I feel I feel honestly horrible for the mom in this situation. I feel bad for Nishimiya and the mom. Because she shouldn't be represented in this way because of her son and Nishimiya's just been bullied the shit, you know, it's horrible. He's obviously frustrated, but he has no right to be, you know. As she should, like, get off her. 
This should not escalate this far at all. Now she's had enough. She hit. She has finally had enough. She's letting him know, actually, like, stop fucking with me. Now we're back to older Ishida. That looks like a... That is her. Yeah, is this the first time he's seen her since she transferred out? How is she going to take seeing him? I get it. I wonder what changed in his mind to make him like try to push so hard to it looks like change her heart, you know, win her back over. And be be friends. I mean I don't know what to say. Like obviously I would want her to give him a second chance, but I can't blame her if she doesn't give him a second chance. I d I don't know, you know. So this is after the whole final day. He sold his comic books, his futon. That's why he's sleeping on the floor. Working hard his part-time job. She doesn't know he quit. That's the real question right there. Yeah, let's put that out. That is a lot of money. 1.7 million yen. Not having anyone in your corner? The social anxiety that comes with school? Oh, horrible. It's a good way to animate it right there. It's a good way to, you know, how it feels. I get that. Now he is getting bullied. Even just... Talk about a way to... Talk about a way to de-escalate it, you know, in a non-confrontational way, but, like, even just going out of your... <laughs> That's so sad, but... Is that his bike? He got Ishida's bike? Hey, shouts out this guy! See, he's one of those that appreciates the people who look out for him, and so he's going to look out for them equally, if not even harder. See, that's, that's a good feeling right there, honestly. I already like this guy. I like this guy. <laughs> Nagatsuka, hello. <laughs> that's me. Just like back in the day, she is not afraid to get... Not afraid to get dirty. Go look up. That was a great shot. The hell is Yuzuru doing here? Yeah. Talk about some self reflection right there. Was that a brother? So I wasn't wrong the entire time. Okay. I felt like I misgendered, but nope. Younger sister. Nishimiya's younger sister. I mean, obviously of anyone to have a change of heart about Ishida over the years, it would take her the longest. Having someone who's bullied your child, you know? This is her? Yeah, she was the only one who volunteered to learn sign language back in the day. I respected her for that. I know, I like her hair like that. It reminds me a lot of, she looks even a lot like uh, Hinata Tachibana from uh, Tokyo Revengers. She looks very similar. And I love Hinata personally, so. That's always been one of his biggest issues is that he can't understand her. And it's so sad, because she's trying, you know? What's going on? I wonder what has her upset. He's got to understand that, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, she was very upset after that, understandably, you know. She just confessed to the boy, and he couldn't even understand her. I love how her and Yuzuru are, though. You know. Is this now? Oh, no. No. I don't like her being here. I like how Yuzuru is distrustful of people in general when it comes to her sister, because I would be as well. Honestly. Okay, top secret video. A nice iPad. Oh, from what Nishimiya recorded. What did Ueno say? You, mm, nah, don't, don't get me started. Yeah, don't get me started. I'll get too mad. Jesus. She has, she, Nishimi has done literally nothing wrong. Yeah, you could have not been an asshole. Like, not make a scene, not do this, not do that, but, oh. Uh, oh. That's so sad. She is saving face. She was... Oh, it's girls like her that are honestly the worst. I don't mean to... Mm, but... Mm. Yeah, how is this going to work out after the whole blow-up? Wow, he is just putting it all out in the air right now. Call her out too, please. Yes. Nagatsuka, we can't say anything bad about you. I mean, that's true, but he's the nicest soul in the world, you know? Yeah. Ishida's kind of had enough. He's sort of burning all the bridges around him. Just when I was, like, happy that we had, like, a little friend group building up, you know? Going out on these little adventures, doing all these little fun things, you know? But it definitely sucks that it all breaks down like this, you know? I said Nishi Mia, but that was someone else, right? Like grandpa, old great grandma, what? Oh, Granny Pass? She was a goaded granny. I was wondering why it said Nishi Mia on a funeral. That's why she was crying, man. R.I.P. What are they making? A birthday cake? Our mother's birthday cake. Oh, talk about a big task. Yeah, I would be nervous as shit. She might kill you. Let's be professional and have, I don't know, a cordial little slice of cake. I don't know. Don't don't bring it up, Yusu. I'm not going to say we're winning the mom over, but, you know, at least she's tolerating us. And like I said, all it takes is, you know, it takes time, effort, passion. You know, they'll come around. I love how we're getting the shots of everyone looking at this, though. This is a great shot. I wonder, yeah, because it showed the vibrations through the cup. I wonder if she feels the vibrations. I've heard stories of, of deaf people who love the feeling of the vibration of the music. You know, when they turn the bass up, they can't hear it. But that feeling of it rattling their bones, stuff like that, they love it, you know? There's no way... You better start running, Ishida. There's no way. Oh, she's gonna be gone, isn't she? Oh my god. That is like the last thing I wanted for her, you know?
talk about a roll. What the hell do I even say? What? I mean, I don't even know what to say. This is just... Bro, I just feel so horrible. I just feel so bad. So, I don't know the extent of Ishida's status, but I'm assuming he's like comatose. I feel so bad for her, man. Is that when we like couldn't understand her? Is that the first time? Talk about waking up, talking about destiny. Can these characters just fall in love and be happy forever and ever and ever and never be sad again ever? Yes, he's real. This isn't a dream. That's so sad. They can be that anchor for each other, you know? That's all we want. That's all I want. Oh, now Pinky Promise and anime is sacred. You never break those. This is gonna be the ultimate test for us. Yeah, look at him. Come on, we got our girl here with us. We're gonna help each other, right? Come on, that's the boy. Nagatsuka's the goat. You know he's never gonna judge you. I think we all have to come to a conclusion that Nagatsuka's the goat. He's best boy of this movie for sure. Look at them in the face. I like how we're literally only seeing their feet. We're seeing this from uh, Ishida's POV. At least we're all... She's going to be like the mean one. The mean girl is kind of one of the group, you know. But hey, that was sign language. Wow. Shouts out. Shouts out now. It's when you start to feel accepted into a friend group, you know. When you really feel like people can care for you, who you are, you know. The non-judgmental, the non-backtalky, you know, kind of friends. It's, it's when you really start to come out of your shell, when you really start to become more outgoing, you know. Like that old clip of him covering his ears during school, now he's actually letting it all in. Crazy to think about. You know how they play certain movies during high school? Like they force you to watch them during like health class? This needs to be a mandatory movie. This deals with depression, suicide... Social anxiety, bullying, friendship. This is such a beautiful movie. God damn.
the great feeling how saturated colorful and bright everything looks right now you know we got yuzu nagatsuka mashiba kawaii sahara now uh but more than most of all we got nishimiya Oh, that was good. That was a good movie. Woo! God damn. Woo! Let's see if I can even do this post movie review with with keeping composure and everything cuz I probably I probably will break down again. That's how I am when it comes to things like these. The discussion is usually what hits me afterwards the hardest, but oh, such a beautiful movie. The subject matter, the characters, the the soundtrack, the animation, Oh, I think I literally am gonna cry talking about it, but I think Nishimiya is one of my favorite characters like of all time, you know? Woo! This was a truly, truthfully sad movie, truthfully beautiful movie. Like, I don't know what to say, man. Ishida, talk about character development through and through from beginning to end. This is a perfect example of like, you can, you can, one, you can't judge a book by its cover. One, a person can change over time too. I said one twice. I'm so out of it right now, guys. Like, I would say like if there's one big moral, one big thing to grab from this. I really can't. There's like 150,000 of them. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, people can change. Give them a chance. Try to know the real them. Don't be surface level. Don't judge a book by its cover. Try to walk a mile in someone's shoes. You know, like, you truthfully never know what someone's going through until you have walked them out like it's it's you know it's like all that you know it's so much wrapped into one very emotional story like started off with suicide almost ended with suicide like i don't know i i it's gonna be kind of hard for me to verbalize what i'm trying to say into eloquent sentences but all i can say is like there's certain movies you know like this like i genuinely believe like whether it be the sub or the dub i genuinely believe this needs to be like a mandatory movie that kids going through puberty like all the hormones everything that they're going through you know social anxiety because like you truthfully never know you know like it sounds it sounds cringy and it sounds like weird but i could totally see this movie like like saving someone's life you know like them watching it who happens to be depressed you know suicidal realizing you know there's more to life out there like you will find someone you know there is light at the end of every tunnel you know truthfully you know the touching movie the very touching movie i must say Ooh. but ah, before i break down and start crying again i must say thank you guys for watching with me uh make sure to check out that poll to vote on the next movie we do next sunday make sure you guys leave a like let me know your thoughts down below. I'm sure there's going to be many more movies where it's going to be me like this in the situation. So look for that. Check out that Patreon if you guys want to watch this again on the full length. You know, check out that Twitch. You guys want to watch this uncut with me. We had 300 plus people in here watching me just cry like a little, like a little man. But hey, you know, thug tears need to be shed every now and then. So drink some water, especially after this movie. Tell someone you love them. Like really, like go out of your way. Be, be nice to someone today. Be a better person. Uh, have a great day after squad. Peace out. Woo.